It's week two of the National Football League, and we've got the Titans' Offensive Player of the Year. He was terrific a week ago, well over 400 yards passing. It's the Titans and the Packers, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. Being located in the Music City, this building has hosted a lot of great music acts since its inception. But this is what she was made for, NFL football, and that's what we have today in Nashville at Nissan Stadium. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Tennessee Titans. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we take a look at this Titan ball club entering play. They come in off a good win on the road. So here are the Titans now for their first drive. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. And he comes off a tough opening matchup through way too many interceptions in that game. Definitely not the way you want to kick off a new season. So he said to himself, I've got to throw that game out. I'm going to get a fresh start right here in week two. Now a play fake here on first down. This one downfield to Burks. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Despite writing it down in my notes, I've never given enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Off the play fake. Cobb, they'll roll him out right. A oh, poor decision there, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. And the Packers are going to get it back here just past the 35. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that... He threw the three interceptions in last week's ball game, and now on the opening drive here, he throws an interception. So a bit of a troubling trend. Let's see if he can fix things. First and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Off play action. Cobb. He'll get that one to Carter complete. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. I mean, look at this Packers defense. They find themselves just a couple of spots outside of the top 10 defending the pass, number 12 in the league. And the easy thought process is that stopping the run is the least of their problems because they're facing the number one passing team in the NFL. But if they don't stop the run as well, then that just opens up the passing game even more. They've got to do both. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Quay Walker came through to make the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Off the play fake. Cobb. And he's got his big tight end here. That's a good-looking play to me. The big tight end on a crossing route coming underneath. Sometimes he can gain some serious momentum going forward, can he? Yeah, he can indeed, and pretty well executed there. To throw on third down, Cobb. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 36. A strong pickup of 11 keeps their drive alive. 
So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Back to throw again. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sacked back at the nine-yard line. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. Now. now from the nine, here's second and goal. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Cobb. And his throw is incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And it's a Titans touchdown. Traylon Burks. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Titans are an extra point away from drawing level. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie. Because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more. Reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the interception on the opening drive that bounced back to throw a touchdown last time out. And he'll look to build on that as they start first and ten. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Ball on the 27. Here's a second down and six. Panther Street. Panther Street. They'll run it again with Henry. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Cobb. Complete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is. Throwing to start the drive. Cobb. And the catch made by Hopkins. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. A first down carry for Henry. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. 
The Titans at 1 0 on the year following the win in week one, and they were able to get that road victory in the opener, and now they look to get to 2 0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets you pointed in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 43. They'll try the right side with Henry. And now off to the races, down the right side. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry with a milestone. Career touchdown number 100. Joining Curtis Martin and Franco Harris at the century mark as he continues to climb the all-time list. And the Titans are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> they begin with Henry. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. He's still on his feet. And he's finally down at the 21-yard line. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Looking to throw. Cobb. Van Jefferson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Titans have moved out in front. Good throw there. And I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason. And what I mean by that is understanding the playbook. Not just the plays and how to execute them but how to do it against a variety of defenses, also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He had a couple of touchdown passes in that game last week, and he's matched that with two in the first half here as his guys start first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Cobb. He finds Hopkins complete. They may want to go back to that one. First part of the drive. Good for 15 in the first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. 26 big yards on that one. It's another first down. Oh, that's a nice job of clearing space in the middle of the field for your tight end. He's going to start behind the line and run an angle route, hoping to kind of get lost in the middle of the field. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Back to throw. Cobb. He's going to look downfield for Henry. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going deep for Hopkins. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. 
Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. So here are the Titans to take over on offense. They were winners a week ago over the Bears, and they lead things here as well as they start this drive with a first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Cobb, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on that. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down. Cobb going deep for Hopkins. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. A good run on first down. It's got it very close to the line to gain, just shy of the 35. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. And by the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Hey, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Henry up the middle. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 31. 80 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Throwing again. Cobb. And he comes back with one complete. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On third and two, Kyle. That pass taken in by Burks. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close. And that means fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it, right? So now the Titans down 28-24. Just over a minute, 40. Tied in over the middle, complete. That's a 
nice job right there, partner, because they were able to work down the middle of the field, working in the seams, because I think defensively, they were guarding the sidelines, trying to keep them from getting out of bounds. They took what they gave them, and it was successful. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty As tight. The play, Here's the call. The so the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. He'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save the timeout. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Let's go. Back to throw. And it's caught. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. And we are keeping a close eye on his catches, a really close eye now, because that's number 899 in his career. The next one will give him 900. Here's first and goal. He's back to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. chance to win it right now as well but remember if you do attempt that it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win throwing to start the drive come and this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left Second down. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's in. Are you kidding me? How do you get that up? One of the most improbable ways to finish a game. And they do win it on a final play. Absolute bedlam. You can forget overtime. What a finish. And this crowd in a frenzy. As well they should be. That's the type of ending that you actually pay money to see. 
And when it turns out in your direction, oh yeah, you feel real good about that one. Let's face it, there are a few people who travel to see their team. They're not happy, but overall, this crowd is loving what they just saw. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win. So for the Titans, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, they'll drop to 0-2. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. Now that was some teamwork out there, fellas. Oh, that was a player of the week performance right there.